Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets in our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Luca Parrish, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics podcast. I'm here for Peter. Ah. It's just Red Bull. Calm down. The sound of classic comic reviews begins. Anyway, welcome back to the Ultimate Spider Cast. I am Phil. Join me, as always, it is. Hey y'all, it's Thwip Thwip, Will Hellfire. That's right, Kid Sand. And this is like the only regular uh, episode we have this month, Will Hellfire. We'll start off December because next week, think the other, you know, he's got a Scarlet Spider Sausage Fest last week. Next week, we'll get another one. Then the movie review. Then the Flippy. Wow. Yep. Where has 2021 gone? So yes, kid, this is like the only regular episode, uh, regular Will Hellfire episode you get this month. In advance, suck it, Kona. <laughs> oh my, preemptive. I need, oh my god, <laughs> I should tell. Uh, next time I talk to Kona, I'll be like, all right, I need you to say, uh, present it. Why? Just do it. <laughs> Don't question me! <laughs> Don't you know who I am? Be like, be like, it's, it's like you're me. not the juggernaut. You're not the goddamn Batman. Oh, my. <laughs> uh, in that vein, uh, so, kids. Uh, so, yes. Like I said, the only regular uh, episode this month. So, we'll get our Christmas out of the way now. Uh, ho, 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 ho. Ho, Your mama. Ho, ho. Oh. <laughs> Damn. I was only talking about Aunt May. Burn. Don't talk about the devil's wife like that. No slut shame. It's just you gotta appreciate the game. <laughs> hmm. I don't know. I love Hellfire. I wouldn't be uh, casting stones, you know, dating, dating men and they, who end up dead. <laughs> Everyone. Under- I just want somebody with a nuclear reactor. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. That's that's goals. I don't say I wouldn't cast them for you. All her ex boyfriends end up dead or uh they're evil mad scientists. That tracks. The bull cut it tracks. Alright, kids, so yes. Satire and comedy. Oh my god. You know you're supposed to be serious wearing that cable shirt. We've got to get back to the future. All right, kids. So before we get to uh, the new is this week's new issues, uh, we- yes, we'll do our Christmas story uh, from Amazing Spider-Man 165 and 166. Jingle bell, sturgeon smells. No. Uh. Doctor Octopus laid an egg. <laughs> Oh my! How, oh my God! Charlie Esser's uh, got a cool chill rain up his spine. We're doing me now. We're in New Jersey. Doctor Octopus laid an egg. That's an interesting artistic choice. That's that hive of scum and villainy. You forgot the drop. Oh, did you? Say, I I missed it. You said. New I Jersey. said New Jersey. <laughs> Mark your bingo cards or take a drink. Or no, both. I, no judgment. No <laughs> cards. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Uh, all right, so. Uh, not only do you get the, uh, not only are you going to get the lizard tonight, kids, you're also getting Stegron. The dinosaur. Sho- the shocker just got a chill of his <laughs> Oh, my God. Scorpion's like, what? I'm not good enough? 
oh my god did you i saw um i think they they put out a uh a preview was it today it was like the cover for that uh ben rally book by jmd mateus like issue two guess who's on it scorpion i know ah good old 90s but yeah tonight we're covering stay growing in the shocker look the shocker looks down on him so phil be out here doing deep cut so other people don't be stealing our ideas Oh, yeah, oh yeah, we'll see if <laughs> ten times Stegron was great, ten times Stegron sucked. Nobody tell Brian. Like there's twenty stories about Stegron. Come on, grow up. Well we well no, we was gonna say like there'll be like five or six from one story and then yeah. <laughs> uh so yeah, so like I said, part one from Amazing Spider Man one sixty five. February 1977. Nobody was born. I was going to say, a little over a year before I was born. Uh, oh, hey, you know who was born in February of 78? Uh, I'll give you a hint. What Trip the F? So this is like about a year before Ray was born. Yeah, like I said, nobody was born. <laughs> that was just a really nice package. Uh, see? A year before brilliance came into the world out of the pouch boy that's right you pander to our patron <laughs> that's right our patron the <laughs> patron <laughs> saint of capes and lunatics justin justin if you would like uh drops uh, you know as a, our other patron if you would like drops of you played i, I need to uh, get some of that audience dude he has that he has that deep voice man he's like oh yes <laughs> all right so <laughs> As if I didn't spoil it already, title this first one, Stegron Stalks the City. You don't say. Get, what a literal title, bro. They must have been like, eh, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's Christmas. Do they even know it's Christmas, Philip? Doesn't uh, seem like it. No. Writer Len Wine, uh, Penciler, Ayo. Ayo, Ross Andrew, Inker, Mike S. Esposito, Colorist, Lennis Ween, Letterer, Joe Rosen, and Editor Len <laughs> So, yes, get once again. I thought you were going to say Joe Rogan for a second. I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> so, I think we didn't we say Glennis Ween was it? Was that his wife? Or we were talking to, uh, or the ex wife or something. So, not a, I think no, that's what we Google Schmoogie. Yes. So, Len wrote this. His, his wife or ex wife is the colorist, and he also edited it. So, nepotism at its finest. That's why we need a union. I was going to say, love it or hate it. But, Lay the blame at Len Wein. Uh, Don't go dragging poor Len Wein into this. <laughs> well, at least it's not a murderer this time. Hey, oh. I'm a fictional character. Come on. All right. Get ready, kids. Spider. <laughs> ting, ting, tingling. <laughs> right, right out of the gate. Right out of the gate. Spider-Man Spider-Sense. It's ting, ting, tingling, ting, ting, tingling. Because it's Christmas. Hey, oh, whoa. Do you tingle with Christmas? Mistletoe, evergreen pine needles. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm just going to say personal grooming, kids. Anyway, uh, Spider-Sense Spider brings him to a hidden laboratory where he tangles with an unknown foe. In pursuit of the mysterious foe, two S.H.I.E.L.D. agents cross his path, but to avoid hurting them and to escape, he covers them in webbing. Mm. Sticky situation, eh? Oh, Lord, here comes Kurt Connors. <laughs> I love how it's like he breaks in and he's like, oh, a laboratory and like an apartment building? He's like, what could the story be here? Wouldn't you break in the first thing you'd think, oh, man, there's a meth lab? Living the dream! Living the dream! <laughs> Something. Like, what in um, the Walter Wait? I know. Me? Oh, oh yeah. Bre uh, Better Call Saul's coming back soon. When are they? I mean, I love the show. Don't get me wrong, but it seems like it is it has it been on longer than actual break? I don't know. I think they said this. Uh, is this the last season? I think it's season six, maybe. But they're going to split it into two parts and stuff. Yeah. Cool. Did you see nobody yet? No, uh, no. I Damn need it, Philip! Come on, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like ping you in the in Messenger every day. Hey. Watch hey, nobody. <laughs> hey, if not Thanksgiving break, I got, I'm gonna have a big long Christmas break, man. Yeah, so. save it for Christmas. I was gonna say, I'm, I think I'm gonna have like a week before Luke is off from school. I might have the house to myself many mornings. I'll probably have 
just do like a movie every morning. <laughs> nice. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, future me, if you're listening to this at work, hey, Christmas vacation is coming soon. Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> uh, oh yeah. So yes. Meanwhile, Kirk Connors plays. Kirk explains to his wife, Martha. Why did you say that name? That's her name. That he is feeling the after effects of the explosion of a generator, which saves Spider-Man's life. See you last time. See you last issue. <laughs> Uh, suddenly, as as is wont to happen, Billy Connors and Normie Osborne are best friends. Changed my mind. Suddenly, because this is New York City, Stegger on the Dinosaur Man enters and kidnaps Billy, and then leaves instructions for Kurt to follow, or else he will kill Billy. You can make another one; it'll be all right. <laughs> Stegger on the Dinosaur Man just breaks into apartment. What is this? New York? This or- breaks this poor eight-year-old kid's heart. I love dinosaurs. Not no more, kid. Not no more. It's New York or New Jersey. I mean, seeing as how Florida has alligators oh. and we have like emu and farms and stuff, yeah, uh, we're, we're dinosaur land for the sure. High, the high of scum and villainies, Southern Division, yes. Exactly. Uh, uh, when Peter conf- Oh, Lord. Meanwhile, on the street, when Peter confronts Flash about he how he is trying to go out with mary jane flash quickly realizes his. i'm just saying listen flash has always had a crush on peter hey, well, he wants to be where peter's peter was that's all i'm saying whoa whoa it's a lot to unpack man hell i'm here for peter uh, and that's how you know flash really knows that peter parker and spider-man are the same person because he's got a thing for both of them i'm just saying oh true <laughs> I wouldn't want to see me coming behind up behind me neither. <laughs> I mean, to the point where he got even got involved with Felicia. Well, she got involved with him, but he didn't say no. Can you blame him? But you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I heard a rumor that uh, Little Hellfire likes Flash Thompson, you know, because Joe Maganello can get it. I mean. He's a real nerd. I mean, yeah. yeah. He's been having D and D games forever. He's not just taking his shirt off and putting putting PCs together for publicity. Okay. Plus, you Henry wanna, Cavill. Plus, you shots wanna, fired. Plus, you want Kryptonite bullets fired? Absolutely. Plus, you want to play with that Deathstroke sword? We were busy boning. Uh, I don't think I can take Sophia Vergara, so I'm just going to respectfully decline on, to answer on that one. That's a big sword. She might need help lifting it. I'm open for a throuple. It doesn't matter. Nice. <laughs> Stay tuned, kids. 2022, Capes and Lunatics only. Half the work of a relationship? F yeah. <laughs> <Sign> <laughs> Remember when? Remember when on Seinfeld, George was helping Jerry with his girlfriend? Yeah, like, definitely. We're not. We're together. We might be enough. Yes. We would each only have to be half a man. That sounds right. Yeah. <laughs> seriously, <laughs> they were onto something. They just didn't know it. Well, it's like you cook, you cook, you you cook and clean for him. I'll just you know. I'll take the trash out. No <laughs> oil. Uh, so yeah, so basically Mary Jane's been playing Peter and Flash. Uh, Flash realizes his mistake and tells Peter that it's okay and that he understands that Peter and Mary Jane are a couple. Tell living Mary, in sin. Tell Mary Jane sin. that. They're not living together. Meanwhile, I know. I'm just talking about the future. I know. Still better. Hashtag still better. Are you, t- are you talking about because retroactively that marriage got wiped away? Or- that they have to mention it every single thing in the con- Look, we know, bro. Okay? We know. Not only did they wipe away the marriage, but it was the devil who wiped away the marriage. Talk about really living in sin. <laughs> yes, give me a, ch- a spider child out of wedlock. <laughs> no, my sister don't want Meanwhile, it's 2021 and like everybody's born out of wedlock now so this is the one that remember that spider child the chosen one is going to take mephisto down exactly that's why i had to be li- that's why they had to be living oh. in 10 and have a baby out of wedlock you gotta think <gasps> maybe it's Mephi- oh we'll get there in a, a little bit but maybe mephisto's running the beyond corporation i wouldn't doubt it a lot of red motif if you look hard enough hey, well. <laughs> meanwhile in a 
Science Laboratory at Empire State University. Oh, Lord. Talk about kids. Oh, oh, we remembered. He, oh, well, it's the 70s still. So, yeah, they do remember. Yes. J. Jonah Jameson and Marla Madison are busy working on the control unit to the new Spider Slayer. A control unit, I bet. <laughs> <laughs> you dog, you JJ. <laughs> you dog. The 70s is the joystick. Exactly. They're actually just playing Atari. It's fine. Oh, man. It's the 70s, man. He's so chomping down those cigars, man. <laughs> like, there's no tomorrow. Enjoy it while it lasts. He was Clinton before Clinton. Oh. <laughs> ah, later, Peter and Mary Jane meet up and discuss their relationship. And Phil, with... you do realize that reference, even that reference is 30 years old at this point. Yes, I know. <sighs> the, the 90s weren't 10 years ago. <laughs> I gotta make that a drop because you keep saying that. <laughs> it's sad. It's a sad fact that I can't deny anymore. <laughs> I know. Uh, so yeah, Peter and Mary Jane meet up and discuss their relationship uh, at a laser light show. <laughs> and with no idea where they're going to take... Smoked a doobie? <laughs> Play a little pink fly. Smoked a doobie. Uh, and they have no idea where they're going to take things and decide to let things work themselves out. Oh, it looks like Peter's going to be working himself out tonight. hey oh Got to reload that web shooter. Another sticky situation, indeed. Man, he was just cleaning it and accidentally went off. I don't want to see a doctor about that. Hey, oh. Uh, <laughs> while at the Connor's home, Kurt talks his wife out of calling the police and realizes that he's turning into the lizard once more and fights off the change. He's a manimal! A wild manimal! <laughs> oh, wild like an animal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Lizard V Lizard. Oh. Hey. -o. <laughs> Little hellfire in the middle. Uh, Peter and Mary Jane end up at the Museum of Natural History, of course. What a nerd! Like I love a museum, but like, no. come on, look, look at Mary Jane. Does she look like she wants to go to the Museum of Natural History? Take her to the Met, homie. Like, something actually interesting. Is he, I don't know. Was he going to take her to see the dinosaur skeletons? You know, trying to. Big bones? Get her in the oh, mood? Subliminal <laughs> messages. Yeah, bones. <laughs> lots of bones. Uh, oh, they went to the Museum of Natural History and looked at the dinosaurs. We were busy boning. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. See yourself out, Philip. It's fine. I'll finish up the podcast. Fuck it, Kona. <laughs> Oh my god, how much? Oh my god, what would you do? That just wakes up. I didn't do anything. You said, Show yourself on. I'll finish up. The what would you do if I just like dropped out? <laughs> like, well, kids, <laughs> you want to hear a theory? I made a model. <laughs> Whoa, get the whiteboard out. Uh, were there the green screen suddenly turns into the chalkboard from Big Bang? <laughs> Talking about Back to the Future, too. Exactly. Pre past, present, and future tense. <laughs> no! Took, take, took it. <laughs> That's my point. Uh, so yeah, they end up at the Museum of Natural History where they're watching a laser show when suddenly... Laser? When the Where's power, the shark? <laughs> uh, suddenly, the power goes out. Peter goes into investigating, changing into Spider-Man, and finding that... Really? You gotta go invest... Like, instantly the lights go up. Oh, better change into my spider suit. It's my safety blanket. Why well, love it? Why well, love that? Well, they were talking. It's like she gave some hard time. I guess sometimes about going to take pictures. It's be like, oh, well, are you putting me through college? No. Okay. Well, I gotta go take pictures. I mean, she could. Oh. But we're not gonna talk about Bruce. Oh hell! <laughs> Ray uh, might be listening. Ah, <laughs> oh, I was gonna. Yeah, we don't want to get Ray all worked up about Bruce. I love Batman. But no, I was gonna say, is she making big mo modeling money yet? Not yet, but it, I mean, look at her. She doesn't need necessarily be modeling. Oh. <laughs> I'll be back in an hour. Uh, uh, or less. <laughs> oh, hey, old. If you, if you do your job well, you get paid for an hour, but it doesn't take an hour to go far. You know, like a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Three, two, one. Our time is up. 
Uh, so yes, he finds Stegron. Using the device he has stolen, uh, Stegron is reanimating the bones of dinosaurs that are on display. So what did he do? Get Viagra? Oh, you beat me to it. <laughs> Great minds think alike. So yes, yes, kids, he invented a raid to get those bones up. Uh, Are we sure he wasn't a pharmacist? <laughs> after a brief fight with the, after a brief fight with the dinosaur bones, this kid Spider Man's fighting bones. Uh, I mean, who's he fighting? The vulture? Hey, doesn't say bag of bones. <laughs> uh, Spider Man ends up tangling with Stegron one on one. The fight ends with Stegron as the victor. Wait a minute. Outside of here, has he ever fought anybody his age? I was going to say... Uh, oh, everybody's ancient. It's like... No, 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 no. How old Rocket Racer? He's got at least a decade on him. Well, I guess. The, uh, the original Prowler. Oh, remind me, there's news, too. Okay, we will do. Hobie oh Brown. yeah, Prowler, but come on, that that's ridiculous. Is Hobie Brown showing back up and not as the Prowler because Miles Morales' uncle took that name. And we'll never see Donald Glover again. Oh my. Uh, so yeah, Stegron the victor when he causes part of the roof to collapse on the wall crawler. When Spider-Man finally gets free, he finds that Stegron and his reanimated dinosaur bones have disappeared without a trace. And back at the home of Kurt Connors, Kurt cannot resist the change any longer and turns into the lizard. With the lizard persona in full control, the creature only has one goal. Destroy Stegron! I mean, it's not hard to do. Just let time do it. <laughs> uh, so, just looking at the notes here. Oh, yeah, when... Spider-Man's in the S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, lab. It says he last met Nick Fury and Marvel Team Up 13. Oh, I didn't. I forgot this cover was by uh, John Romita Sr. Oh, yeah. This is a nice cover. Mm-hmm. Very classic. Uh, Peter recounts his recent battles with Tarantula and Craven the Hunter. These events happened in Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man 1 and 2. Peter Parker, the Spectacular. <laughs> like, can we make it any longer, son? Hey <laughs> How many times have you said that in your life? Uh, None of your damn business. <laughs> but I love it. Doesn't he even make a comment in the story? It's like, man, it seems like so much happens these days, man. <laughs> little did they know. Little, oh, did they... little did he know. Yeah, the 80s were wild. <laughs> this is a slow week for him, man. Amazing, spectacular, and Marvel team up. That's a slow week kid, compared to what's coming. What an amazing time to be a Spider-Man fan. Unless it's that one week. <laughs> I know. So yes, kids, this is around the time of Spectacular Spider-Man 1 and 2, the original. Uh, so yeah, so when he's talking to Flash, yeah, they've known each other since Amazing Fantasy 15. Until and the, Flash joined the military in Amazing Spider-Man 47. What was he fighting? World War II? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, we're gonna, I think it was Vietnam, wasn't it? Yeah, it was Vietnam. The Got name. all messed up bad, too. <laughs> uh, and Spider-Man, before this, encountered Stegron Lath in a Marvel Team Up 20. <laughs> Alright, so, what did you think of this one? Hilarious. Laser light shows, dinosaurs. <laughs> yes! Like, Oh my god, I like I said, I like this era. It's so much, it's like it was a simpler time, and they weren't afraid to like experiment. And you know, you could just tell, tell this was like passion, and like the sales department wasn't like you know, the suits basically now that they are. Oh, yeah. So you could just, hey, I'm gonna do Stegron, all right, man. I don't, I don't see why not. Laser light shows, Stegron. Well, it, it was the seventies, to be fair. That's like a huge thing going to you know the um, planetarium and stuff like that. Oh yeah, I think our planetarium still does this. Stuff. Yeah, every planetarium still does that. I mean, the stoners are keeping the planetariums alive, bro. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. <laughs> Remember, kids, sell your Girl Scout cookies outside at the end of one of those shows. <laughs> Yeah, don't be an amateur and do it in front of Walmart. Although that's the safest place, no. to be fair. <laughs> no, man, get the stoners when they're coming out, man. 
Or, you know, now you can sell, if you live in a place where it's legal, just go in front of the dispensaries. Oh, true. <laughs> like, I know it doesn't have any THC in it, but it still tastes good. <laughs> You're welcome. Like I said, at least one or two drops there. Oh, my gosh. All right. So, should we get to the next one? Onwards and upwards, good sir. All right. War of the Reptile Men, shall we? Part two from Amazing Spider-Man 166, March 1977. Yes, War of the Reptile Men. By the same... Indeed. <laughs> Indeed. Oh! <sighs> Again, another... Uh, Literal title. Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. <laughs> ah, I got you. <laughs> uh, Moss. All right. So, following his defeat at the hands of Stigron, the dinosaur man, Spider Man decides to go and seek the that's, help. That's a mouthful. Ah, <sighs> you don't have to say that. I already have a drop. <laughs> That's a mouthful. I mean, that that's a really crappy villain name. Stegron. Yeah, the Dinosaur Man. Like, oh, man, come on. We get it. Stegron. We get it, bro. We yeah, see how you look. You don't need the Dinosaur Man. It's got that big, huge tail, though. Look at my butt. <laughs> uh, mm, next thing you know, he's talking about muscles and meat. <laughs> talking about meat is so natural for Ray. <laughs> Ray, right? Why you. is he put up with us? We love you, Ray. Hey, man, he's taking over, man. There was a Scarlet Spider Sausage Fest the episode before this. There'll be one after this. That's a good way to close out the year. Yeah. Well, koala bears and wallabies, you know? Then we'll get to the group effort on the movie review, and then you and I will close out with some flippies. By the way, not too late to send in your choices. Cool. Uh, I'm sure we've decided the ballot and it's up on Facebook and other social medias. By the time this hits the podcast, I'm sure it will. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so following his defeat at the hands of Stegron, Spider-Man decides to go and seek the help of Kurt Connors due to his experience with lizards. <laughs> him and, him and Lil. <laughs> Uh, however, Spider-Man arrives just as Connors had finished transforming into the lizard once more and was on his way out to attack Stigron himself. Oh, sorry. I'm on my way out. <laughs> you just missed him. <laughs> you have to run some errands, you know, pick up some milk, uh, kill Stegron. Yeah. Grow my arm back, you know. Oh, well, he did when he wants to transform. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> He's uh, That's his favorite hand, if you know what I'm saying. Whoa. <laughs> Uh, That's the tragedy of it all. <laughs> no. Why do you think he was willing to do anything to grow it back? Well, he well, it turned himself into a giant lizard. Uh, is that a tail, or are you just happy to see me? Uh, it's a giant-sized man thing. One day. Right. That's the dream. <laughs> uh, oh, stay tuned, kids. We're going to be covering some man thing in March. Man thing March, really? Yes, and I'm not talking about Little Hellfire's dating life either. Just putting uh, out good vibes into the universe. Spider Man briefly tangles with the lizard who manages to escape. Going back into the Connor's apartment, Spider Man learns from Martha of the situation and that Stegron has her son Billy hostage. He's the goddamn lizard man, Philip. Put some respect on his name. Uh Spider-Man vows to Martha that he will save Billy and restore Kurt to normal once more. Well, all right. While at ESU, J. Jonah Jameson pays a visit and to Marla. Marla. Eyebrows, eyebrows, eyebrows. <laughs> who unveils her own take on the Spider Slayer robots. Oh, man. We're just going to do a month of, like, just all Spider Slayer stuff. Sp Peter's friend. <laughs> Spider Slayer September? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Peter's friends have all met at the apartment of Flash Thompson and Harry Osborn. Oh man! So what? Peter gets kicked out, and now Flash and Harry are living together. I'm telling you, Flash wanted to be Peter so bad. I know Mary Jane, Felicia, Harry. I mean, he even he scraped the bottom of the barrel and ended up with Harry. So 
<laughs> well, well, it worked for Liz, didn't it? Did it work out for her, though? <laughs> no, she gold there. Well, she came from money, and then he had But money. not real money, obviously. She, well, she came from money, and he had some, so she kind of probably doubled her money. He ain't giving up that purse. He's too He's too busy making new goblin gliders. Well, he was quote-unquote dead for a while. Oh, she's so that money actually would have probably been in a trust for Normie, if we're being real. Maybe, yeah. And she probably got a stipend off of that, because that's just how rich people are. If you know, you know. Yeah, but it's the Marvel Universe, too. Yeah, but she took over the company too. Remember? Yeah, that people. company's worthless, low key. Let's well, be she, let's be honest. In in the world of Reed Richards, Oscorp is kind of raggedy. In the world of Stark, yeah, Oscorp's raggedy, bro. <laughs> remember the slot run? Uh, well, for those of you who want to remember, yeah, I mean he did. The, uh, he, <laughs> Look, listen. There's no. I, I mean, objectively, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, in theory, the Superior <laughs> Spider Man was good. Yes, but no, she creates Elkamax. No. That's gonna be supposedly waiting that's on that be, retcon. That's gonna be worth something. I mean, it lasts until at least twenty ninety nine. Because everybody just loves twenty ninety nine. That's not Matt Kona. Uh, oh my god! We, you mean him going to do another twenty ninety nine episode? I want to twenty ninety nine twenty. <gasps> oh, I can't even enjoy that anymore. I want to twenty ninety nine. Uh, 2069? What now? Oh! If only. We need to do a future episode. Tapes 2069. That's the audio drama. <gasps> oh, oh, maybe we can work that in the, during our summer of 69 in June. <laughs> See, Ray, can you-, can you write a script for us? We'll give you $5. Oh, it's me, Mom. <laughs> we'll give you back your $5. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sounds like a plan, Jan. Damn, we're gonna do this. All Just right, tweet uh, gobble gobble if you agree. <laughs> Jesus, I think someone smoked the doobie. Um. So yes, everyone reads at the all Peter's friends meet at Flash and Harry's apartment for Christmas cheer. It's like friends giving, but not oh. as good. Oh, I thought <laughs> Christmas cheer. They're like smoked a doobie. That's not missile test. Smoked a doobie. Uh, Peter calls and tells Mary Jane that he won't be able to make it. Yeah, don't smoke mistletoe, guys. That's toxic to humans as well as your doggies. Mistletoe Just... can be deadly if you eat it. Seriously. A <laughs> kiss can. Uh... <laughs> uh, well, cavities are contagious, so kisses are kind of gross. Just saying. So what? You're not kissing anybody? No. Never. I mean, not for a very long time. She's like, not on the lift. <laughs> uh, on the cheek, Philip, because we're PG-13. Uh, Sometimes this podcast is rated Team Plus because of Philip. <laughs> yeah, me. Chris Evans can get it all day, every day. Public service. What? It was a really nice package. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Apparently he plays the piano now. Whoa! That's an awfully good ride he's got there. <laughs> All right. Uh, after getting off the phone with Peter, Mary Jane, uh, with Peter, Mary Jane, and the others are told by Harry and Liz that they are going to get married. Boo! <laughs> Boo! You let them get married. Boo! <laughs> Life is unfair. Yeah, Somebody we, cue that Malcolm in the Middle song, because that's how I feel right now. Yeah, but look how how it turned out. I mean, Harry goes nuts, and they have that uh, devil spawn. <laughs> when is Normie going to become the, like, fifth green goblin? <laughs> like, when? Make it happen. On one of these stories where we age him up. <laughs> then the next story, he'll be five again. Normie's been, like, between five and, what, 11 for, like, 30 years. 40 years. This is that fluctuate, fluctuating age club with, uh, you know, Billy, Billy and, and yeah. Franklin Richards. Yeah. You know, the king of it, Franklin Richards. But. Uh, oh, because he is such a BA. Franklin Richards is such a BA. Uh, 
Sorry. Charlie Esser would be here tonight, but... Sorry to make you listen to all this. Look. <laughs> Give your wife something. That's how I feel when we talk about DC. I'm like, poor Charlie. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. In the butt is fine. Oh, my. We're uh, not talking about the new Superman. <gasps> oh, my God. That comes out next week. Or should I say he comes out next week? Officially. Yeah. So that's my guy story. I'm like, did you reply? I'm like, did you order extra? Because, you know, people will be buying that because I think it's going to be worth something. And he's like, yep. Plot twist. Comics really aren't worth. Modern comics really aren't worth anything. They don't degrade. They don't degrade and it's such easy access. Hell. Damn. I didn't even mean it that way, but yeah. <laughs> Uh, bu- bu- bu. So yeah, Harry and Liz are getting married. Dun, dun, dun. At the hideout of Stegron, he shows Bill. Well, he shows Billy Connors that his revitalization ray is now fully operational and uses it to restore the dinosaur bones back to real living dinosaurs. Um, who is he? Jeff Global? <laughs> it's a little uh, original Jurassic Park for you. I was gonna say, man, this was Jurassic Park for Jurassic Park. Well, I forget. Michael Critton had written that book years, years, years before that book. So yeah, well, was it before seventy seven? I don't think so. I don't even think they knew about DNA. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, literally, they just figured out his anesthesia work last year. I just, I don't trust the medical and scientific community. After I found that out, I feel so betrayed that they've just been gassing us and not just hoping that it worked. Take a deep breath. Uh, so uh, bu- bu- bu. he's then attacked. <laughs> Stegron is then attacked by the lizard, which causes the dinosaurs to break loose and flee into the city. Web Jurassic Slayer... Park, <laughs> the second one, because <laughs> it's know. in New York. Get it? <laughs> Jurassic Park two, home, uh... home alone, <laughs> lost in New York. <laughs> Jurassic Park two, lost in New York. How many times are you gonna lose your kid, lady? <laughs> Trump's giving directions to some dinosaur. Uh, and no, I don't mean members of Congress. Dinosaurs. They're old. Get it? Oh, I saw some on uh, somebody on Twitter was like, "Man, if we're gonna just start electing all these old people to uh, Congress, why don't we just elect Betty White already?" Seriously, she's gonna outlive us all. Exactly. Oh well, that's like she started. She was trending on Twitter this week, and everyone panics. They're like, "Oh my God, no, no, no!" And they were like, "No, no, no, she's not. She's not dead. Everything's fine." And you know, people are just like, just "Don't do that. Don't freak everyone out." You know, we, we thought something bad happened, like she passed away, or she was dating Pete Davidson. Something. Oh. <laughs> I have no comment. Good for Kim. <laughs> No, she's he's he's dating uh, Kim K now. That's just a publicity stunt, cause cause heaven forbid, heaven forbid, Courtney be more interesting than her. Her face is interesting. Oh, there's Chloe, so not that interesting. Where's that Chloe? Oh yeah, that's Chloe. Oh, that's not commercial. I'm like, what? Courtney's the only normal one. (laughs) That's a low bar, little help. It is truly the bar is in hell, but you know. Hey, look at my. Speaking of being the barman in hell, these two knuckleheads. That's my Kardashian drop. Look at my butt. <sighs> Phil, don't be so trite. <laughs> oh, yes, because we're so refined here. How <laughs> <laughs> dare I? Uh, so, yeah, the dinosaurs are loose in the city. Webb's slinging around the city trying to find his foes. Spider Man finds the dinosaurs and easily de- he easily defeats dinosaurs. Because he's used to beating up dinosaurs every day is the point that I was making. Oh, uh, he's, he's used to beating lizards. Choke that mean, chicken. I mean, Because technically chicken. chickens are descendants of dinosaurs. Uh, so, you know, those chicken shaped nut, those dinosaur shaped nuggets, kind of accurately, kind of accurate, just saying. Nuggets just saying. Say. Nuggets, you say. Where's the Joker nuggets? Choke <laughs> that chicken. I get nuggets. Uh, so he then tracks their trail of destruction back to Stegron's hideout, where he battles both Stegron and the lizard. 
Spider-Man incapacitates the lizard with a chemically treated webbing, which restores the lizard back to his... Oh, I call shenanigans! Why did he put the antidote in a web shooter and just squirted it down his throat? That's a bit much. That's a little homoerotic, if you ask me. Little Hellfire's like, that's a lot to swallow. That, that, that's pulling a Cosby right there, so... <laughs> Manny, he, he, he squirted that antidote right down the lizard's throat, and he was just like... It's so it's like salty. J E L L O. Oh. <laughs> it's so salty. Uh. Which is ironic since it's made of uh, sucrose. Just saying. Uh. Oh, what am I going to do with you? So, yes, the lizard is cured. Back to Kurt Connor. Stegron uses this as his chance to flee with Billy as his prisoner, and he takes control of the dinosaurs again. Spider-Man goes after the two of them, leaving Kurt behind to try and figure out how to make Stegron's device work in reverse. Spider-Man manages to rescue Billy, and Connor's works on the device allows him to change the dinosaurs back to harmless bones. Bones are never harmless, are they, little hellfire? Gotta wrap it up. Gotta got a hair trigger. Uh, Stegron manages to escape, and Spider-Man chases after him. Succumbing to the cold, Stegron is about to go back into a state of suspended animation when he falls into a frozen river and seemingly perishes. What in the Captain America's going on here? I was going to say, I don't know if he appears. I mean, I know he appears again in like the early 90s. I don't know if he, he might sleep through the 80s. I don't know. Uh, so the opposite of the stat. Gotcha. Hey, oh, that's that. <laughs> Unable to find a trace of Stegron. And of course, because it's what it's Christmas Eve, so you know Spider Man got away naturally. All the bad guys get away during Christmas. It's a thing. You know Spider Man. As scroll down, we know Spider Man half asses it on Christmas Eve. It's like gotta get back to my presents. Hey, old his package. <laughs> I'm able to find a trace of Stegron. Yeah, Spider Man gives up his search because he looked like, real hard. Grow uh, up, Philip. Not quite soft. Not quite hard. Oh, I'm gonna send a boxing glove arrow <laughs> in a Jack in the Box just, mm, for Christmas. <laughs> Whoa! Not quite soft and not quite hard. On Christmas Day, all is well, and the Connors family has been reunited for the holidays. Ah. Ah. Spider Man decides to leave the Connors a Christmas gift before departing. Yeah, a bag of flame and poop. Oh! <laughs> I know mean, you really want to get Kirk Connors mad. A, a prosthetic arm. <laughs> oh, how dare you! I mean, honestly, he's such a great scientist. I mean, he he knows Otto at least in my head canon. Like, just saying. Yeah, they man. live in the Marvel universe. Why the hell doesn't he have his arm back yet? Yeah, but all all Otto's thinking about at this point in time is like you know holding people hostage with nuclear devices and that. Uh, I'm and, just in the Marvel universe. And that's they clone Ant-Man. very easily. Have Doombots running around that do their job better than Doctor Doom. Why the hell does he still have it? Why does he not have an arm? Yeah, come on, Tony Stark. This is ridiculous. That's the most ridiculous thing about the Lizard. Why I can't take him serious. Like I get in the movie, sure, but the actual comic book universe. He would have been had an arm. Exactly. Uh, Just ask Bucky. Can't he talk to Bucky and go, hey man, can I get a hug up? Hey old. <laughs> Misty Knight. She got uh, does she have her arm by this point? Maybe. Mm, I don't know. We'll get there. Alright, so what did you think of this Christmas low? I mean, like he got and the and Stegron got away, you know? <laughs> Hey, it's classic. It's class. It's a classic Spider-Man Christmas story, to be honest. I know. At least I he can't... wasn't struggling for money this year. Not we know of. Yeah. They didn't mention it, so if they don't mention, it, he's not doing that bad. That's the way I take it. I love in the first one when he tells Mary Jane he's going to take pictures, and he's like, "Oh, I hope she didn't notice I didn't have my camera with me." <laughs> Of course she did. Of course she did. Women know. Although that helps that retcon later, where she's like, "I always knew you were a Spider-Man." Women ain't stupid, bro. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Aunt not, May knows and Mary Jane knows. Everybody not, knows at this point. Not all women are stupid. Are you talking about Betty? Oh! 
thought we were bashing Liz this time. <laughs> well, she she is just, I don't know. Like, Liz, I can't ever really feel sympathy for I can't figure out Liz. They've never really fleshed her out. Not that I want them to. She's the worst side character in the Spider Universe. There, I said it. I mean, first it was just like, oh, that Peter, what a nerd. And then it's, you know. Well, who's got the she, last she, laugh? She fluctuates from she fluctuates from like friend to like bitch and yeah, you know, just back and forth. Yeah. Let's get on to the new book, shall we? Oh, okay. Because it's a wonderful time to be a Spider Man fan. Oh, you forgot your Christmas present. Yeah, we got the news this week. There's gonna be a uh beyond special where uh we're getting the slingers back, kids. Remember the slingers scroll down? <laughs> That's more of a you and Ray and Matt thing than a me thing, but okay. Oh, oh, oh. That was just a really nice package. And that's where Hobie Brown is going to be the new uh, Hornet because, yes, we have. Oh, nice. Yep. Because we still haven't brought back the original Hornet after Wolverine killed him in Enemy of the State. Does anybody besides you remember that, Philip? Enemy, what enemy of the state? That was like the early 2000s. Come on, exactly. I know crickets, I know. crickets. But remember, uh, the Black Marvel brought the slingers together, and who is pulling the strings on the Black Marvel in that story? Mephisto. Red shoes, red shoes. <laughs> Still want us to tease us with that Mephisto. So, yes, keep an eye out for that, kids. I know, I will. I think it's February, it said. All right, so let's get to the new issues. Oh, and I just like it's not related, but I just want to tell everybody if you didn't read the thing number one, maybe read the thing number one. Hey, well, oh, oh my god, no! I should have got it today. I didn't realize until late. No, Charlie messaged me. He, I guess, a lot of his books were missing. He only got two Marvel books, and the thing wasn't one of them. So, oh, you missed the thing. Oh. And I'm the only one that got the thing book. What the hell? here i would have got it if i if he would have messaged me before i left the store i would have gotten it just so i could have given him the code oh man i mean if you boys need a copy you know who you can ask you can always ask mama (laughs) that's right oh i hey again if you want to offer them yeah tell them okay i gotta get it uh scanned in and put into the box though hey oh hey (laughs) oh All right, so we're uh, here. Let's pick up because it's been two whole weeks. Uh, Amazing Spider Man 78. <laughs> spoiled. We're so spoiled. I what know. are we going to do when this is over, bro? I don't know. So, yeah. Well, I'm sure there's going to be plenty next year because it's the 60th anniversary. So, even oh, if we... yeah. We save up, kids. You better save up all your pocket money. They're going to shake us down for everything they got. Even if we don't get an amazing three times a month, you know, there's going to be specials and mini series and one shots. Yeah. So, yeah. I like this one actually uh, better than last week's. I think I thought it was a great follow up. Yeah, part two. and of course Mor- Morbius is here, so I, yeah. I like Morbius. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it after the movie's out because they've changed some things that I don't agree with. So we'll see. We'll see. We yeah, got part two of Kelly's story, Kelly Thompson. So yeah, Ben Riley gets bit. Uh, <laughs> Morbius gets his arm blasted off. I love the violence. I know. And when Ben's giving in that portal, are those tentacles? Close. But no cigar. <laughs> Didn't give me the tingly tingly, so definitely not. <laughs> oh, so I said, are those tentacles? And you were like, I don't think those are tentacles. Exactly. But yeah, the Beyond Corporation's up to some shady stuff. Stuff because that, uh, as usual, <laughs> no, no big surprise here. Well, that what's her face in charge? She's just like, What would happen if we didn't give him the antidote for the vampire bite? Hmm, I've been rally with uh, vampire powers. Um, don't they remember when we got man spider? That's how you get man spider, I'm pretty sure. That's how you get one of those alternate universes where you, you know, <gasps> oh my god, I want that, I want that, kids. I want that's when the next what if. You know, after we got Spider Shadow, now I went Ben Riley, King Lord of the Vampires. Yes. I mean, if he can't be Sorcerer Supreme, why not? And Peter, you know, Peter, and you know, Peter has to help everyone try to battle him. And he's like, they're like, he's like, you know, he's just like, son of a bitch. The King of the Vampires has my face. Come on. 
I just want to shout out uh, Sarah Pacelli's uh, drawings of Morbius. Like, oh, yes, yeah. she finally makes him look like super powerful, super slick, super cool. Because people tend to like still leave him in that like seventies kind of like throwback look, despite being in the modern era. And I, I appreciate that she kind of took it to the next level. I think that was my favorite thing about the book this week for sure. Yeah, yeah, he gets he gets some nice horror vibes off him. Definitely. Oh, and we get we see Felicia visiting Peter in the hospital. Oh, so sweet. I know. <laughs> Mary Jane, if you'll just wake up, I'll bring in all your ex-girlfriends. I don't care. It's like, even Gwen? <laughs> if you're saying Gwen, buddy, we're in trouble. <laughs> That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> You've gone to the white light. I'm sorry. I mean, unless we just bring in Ghost Spider. Yeah. <laughs> Tricks him into coming back. Wait a minute! <laughs> That's not a black head. That's not the black head band I know and love. <laughs> Deb Whitman's like, you can all pay me enough to come back to that hospital. <laughs> uh, Betty's lurking around somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Still no. mad. Uh, good old Ned didn't come really come back. <laughs> oh. Got more Colleen and Misty, which I'm sure Kelly loved. They are so like, I love their vibes. Oh. Uh, I can't wait to get their book. Seriously, they they better do a show. That's all I'm saying. Exactly. No offense, Ray. Don't don't listen to this part. If Moon Knight can get one, they can get one. Burn. Oh my. What the f? Ah, uh, but and then Kelly sets it up for the next writer because on that last page we get Craven the Hunter. Hey, look who's back. Back again. <laughs> Tell a friend. <laughs> Trying to bring uh, Boyne Claus back. So, I'd be okay with that. I love a good Conan story. So did you read the last page? So I guess the next writer is Cody Ziegler, who uh, uh, he's in the writer's room for uh, the Disney Plus She-Hulk uh, series. And I guess he was on a, a season of Rick and Morty. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. So. Pretty neat. Can't wait to mm -hmm. see what they come up with but then but uh i don't know if this was delayed or what because it says yeah that uh 78 point b-e-y which i always just in my head here just here 78 bay bay yeah bay. <laughs> hey bay and 79 it's saying on sale you know november 10th and november 17th i'm like today's the 10th and then because mm. i think i think in last issue it said well this, yeah i think yeah, one of those weeks week. that we didn't get a book we were supposed to get a book i think last week we were supposed to get this so yeah. i would so I wonder if they're going to play catch up and put both out next week. Or... No way. No. Okay. They're just going to be off. There's no way. Well, I think that's two different writers. So I don't know about artists, but I think it's two different writers. So I mean, it's possible because I think that uh, that 78 Bay is that uh, one Kelly was saying, you know, she wanted to do with Colleen and Misty, but they gave it to Jed. Yeah. So. Remember, kids, if you can find the variants, grab them. Hey hot, this, you get hot scoops if you subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> That's right, kids. Catch that Kelly Thompson interview. It's up there now. Oh, but gimme, gimme. We need our money. It's the holidays. <laughs> oh, my. That's right, kids. Don't make us be like Otto and rob a bank. Come on. We don't want to turn to a life of crime. <laughs> Lil's Hellfire wants to get the 169 Funkus. We need the money. Gimme, gimme. Yep. All right. Uh, what do you do? Speaking of Beyond, do you want to do Miles Morales Spider Man 32? Yeah. 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 I mean, yeah. It's, it's okay. It's just, I don't know. Waiting on the other shoe to drop. Like, or, I mean, because it's so much going on with the regular book that they don't want to take the shine from it? Or what? Well, I wonder too if they like slowed it down a little bit because, uh, yeah. Saladin's yeah, because right yeah. amazing and Miles is gonna be in there. Yeah. And it's like Taskmaster in a spider book, really? Is I mean, is he gonna have Deadpool next? Like, what are we doing? Well, no, Deadpool wasn't in the Black Widow movie. Exactly. <laughs> look at look at all it's like, um, I wouldn't be bragging about that. I mean, I like this art, but it's like, man, Taskmaster looking extra skeletor this uh issue well at least iron heart showed up i enjoyed that interaction well on yeah on the phone basically yeah she didn't like yeah. show up yeah they're like we haven't forgot you're supposedly getting a show too we haven't forgot 
Uh, I think she'd be a cool animated show, but that's just me. Yeah. Uh, she was on what was that? Uh, Disney. Uh, on the one the Disney Channel was it the Spider Man cartoon or the? Don't ask me about the Spider Man cartoons because I have never liked Marvel Animation Studios at all ever. Fox did it better. Hashtag fight me. (laughs) You know what? uh, Luca was working through some like he was watching all the Spider Man episodes from the nineties with like Venom and stuff. But you know what he's watching every episode of? Uh. He's been doing it at bedtime every night now. Uh, the 90s X-Men. Good egg. He's a good egg. I think he's already on. Although all the X-Men cartoons are amazing. Every last one of them. He's up to the Evolution is actually my favorite. I know that. I know that's controversial. Yeah, I think he said he wants to watch another one. It's either that or Wolverine and the X-Men. Yeah, Yeah, Wolverine and the X-Men is not bad. But obviously they put Wolverine in the title first and foremost because cash grab. Chiching. But that one has a really good take on Kitty Pride. So all of them have very good merit. So yeah, so yeah, th- this is this Miles Morales and begins with Taskmaster and ends with the Beyond Corporation saying, "Yeah, you're you're in yeah, violation of a legally owned trademark." I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> "Nice." That's They're amazing. Disney. They're li- this is literally meta commentary about Disney. Hashtag fight me. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, but this whole thing with uh, Miles and the Beyond Corporation continued in Amazing Spider-Man 81, so that must be when Saladin's uh, arc starts. Yeah. And did we figure out if Chris Allen was coming along as his artist? Do we know yet? Uh, I, I don't, don't think he is, but I hope he does. Yeah, I didn't see an official announcement. I don't know. It's so hard to keep up with so much comic book news now. I'm just like, I know. overwhelmed. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I don't think he was in, that, in the group they mentioned, unless, I don't know if I don't remember if he. Uh, yeah, I don't remember all the art. Uh, I don't know. Because I do, I do enjoy Chris Allen's uh, art. Ooh, yeah, the art. I don't. I have no problem with the art. His dynamic, it. his take on dynamic movement. I love it so much. So. Oh yeah. Fingers crossed. Yeah, because that new mouse suit could go horribly wrong in the hands of a, of a different artist. But I mean, they've got all the big guns working on on this whole, you know. Oh yeah, all the spider right now. Stuff. So. Yeah. All right. Uh, did you get the oversized Venom number one? Uh, out of sheer nostalgia, you know, I did it. I feel, I feel like a, I don't know. I feel dirty. Hey, well. Marvel's always shaking me down for extra money, and I don't appreciate it. Yeah. So, what did you think? I mean, it's our old buddy Al Ewing from Immortal Hulk. Yeah, and Brian Hitch is doing the art. I think that it's a very interesting combination, but I. Definitely think this is gonna take time for me to warm up to because I think they're still warming up to each other. <laughs> oh yeah. Just the vibes. It's a little bit of a disconnect between the art and the dialogue and the flow. So still a good story. I just just things that I notice as I've been reading comics forever at this point. So Yeah. But I, I like the story and the art was good, but uh, I I mean it flowed a little better, but it's number one, it's a lot of setup. Usually Al's super good with setup, so that's what kind of like threw me off a little bit more. Yeah, I mean the time. I, I mean I'm willing to, to check out this time travel stuff and everything, but I'm like, how long can we ke- keep this going with Eddie as like king of the symbiotes? Forever. You think? Cause Sony. Wow. Uh, I mean, I can see the Venom book keep going, but I just mean with him being able to control these symbiotes. And... Cause that that's where we're going next with the next movie, silly. Oh, really? I, I almost guarantee you, if we're not doing symbiote world or whatever, we're going to do this. Oh, no, we're going to get null. <laughs> I, I almost guarantee you. So, we'll see. But no, I mean, it's okay. Just, uh, you know, not the Venom we're used to, but I'm, I'm willing to give it a shot for sure. Yeah. Did you like Dylan Brock? <laughs> no. He's a punching bag, though, right? Why am I so angry? Have you met your father? Exactly. A, nut, a meathead junior. Congratulations. Plus, plus add that symbiote to the mix. <sighs> Talk about your puberty gone wrong. <laughs> Yikes. Couldn't be me, bro. But I love the cosmic horror of it all. That I think that's the biggest appeal about Venom in that, of course, with Al, yeah. he loves doing cosmic horror. That's his thing. Okay. So he is, he's going to, you know, if you're into that thing and you, and you get his vision, then you'll love this book. Even if you're not a fan of Venom, I think that 
newbies could easily pick this up. There's not too much to really catch on yeah. to. I mean, depending on what way you take the story, I mean, with Venom, I mean, you have to do some some degree of horror. You know, either yeah, it's get, body horror for sure. Yeah, he's either going to eat someone's brain or yeah, it's just. So if you miss a mortal Hulk, you might want to pick this one up. That's right, kids. They did the old switcheroo. Al jumped over here, and uh, oh, what was his name? Who was writing Venom? Yeah, he jumped over to the Hulk. So definitely. Um. So yeah, I I think that he added a really awesome legacy to the Hulk, and I think he can do this for Venom. I think Venom definitely needed some freshening up, freshening up, and I definitely don't mind Dylan at all. Uh, basically, we all know this is basically Damien. Yeah. If we're being honest, that it's it's Damien Jr. But in, in Al's hands, I, I have complete faith. So we'll see where it goes. I think it's going to be an interesting dynamic to explore. Oh, Lord, how long till we get a Dylan Brock Venom support? No. No. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. I, I, and I'm just like, what's with the chains? I'm like, is he a ghost rider? Whips and chains excite him. Don't judge him. No kink shaming here. So close. <laughs> Sent him instead of instead of me. So, uh. all right. So, are we done? I think we're done. On that note, we should go. Give the kids the homework. All right. Like I said, kids, this uh, this month, the month of December, closing out this month, it's gonna be a little weird this month uh but still lots of it's good weird stuff. every month just more so well different than other months all and new it's... all different <laughs> oh how dare you. all right so yes next week again i know you got one last week but again you're gonna get your uh december uh, scarlet spider sausage fest from uh this time it'll be spider-man 64 spectacular so spider-man 230 and Spider-Man Unlimited number eleven, the Ooh. first time, the first time Ben met to leave. Finally, <laughs> yes, the Return of Spider-Man Part Two. All right, and then in two weeks, that oh, that's right, kids. In two weeks, you're gonna get your Spider-Man No Way Home re movie review with me, Will Hellfire, and I'm sure so at least a few of our friends. Oh my God, we were talking to, about the we we're doing the Eternals uh, movie review, and Charlie was like, "I don't know if I'm that excited for Spider Man." I'm thinking, Otto's in it. How is he not excited for Spider Man? Is he though? I mean, you see his face in the trailer. I don't know. Is he though? I mean, I, they put out a poster. I saw tentacles, and I saw if you zoom in on the right, you see a figure on a glider. I don't know. Seems and, like a lot of smoky uh, mirrors to me, but. <gasps> Oh, you think somebody is uh, faked their death and now is uh, pulling some? Uh... All I'm saying is, in a world in the MCU, Stephen Strange absolutely picked the timeline where Tony Stark died. All the evidence is starting to point to it, so he could control it. He could be the mastermind. It was me. That's Peter. all. That's all I'm gonna say about it. A lot of smoke and mirrors. That's what I feel. I think it's not anything what we think it is. We shall see. All right. And then, of course, the last the week of the month, you'll get your third annual Thwippy Awards. Get your votes in. Check social media for your ballots. Oh, my God. I think, we, I think we've teased it the first two years, but should we, like, actually, like, dress up? I mean, eh. Eh. I like, mean, I might just put my Gwen, my my ghost spider costume on. If you want to uh, dress up as Scarlet Spider, we could do that. I don't really want to get dressed up, dressed up. Okay. Just like if you want to do that, that'd be fun. Or I can get my Miles Morales. It doesn't matter. I have all the spider costumes at this point. <laughs> or we could just do the show. <laughs> all right, kids. So, yes. Uh, lots of good stuff coming up, including uh, in January, we're going to be getting some Morbius, so comics oh hate. joy comics comics hey there's some x-men in that one story and, and we don't have to do that movie review we can just give our thoughts if we're gonna go watch it we can just give our like like five minutes each Ooh. that's all we need <laughs> that movie is not gonna be worth talking about i'm just gonna tell you that right now not even a half an hour on like a capes episode no just stick it here five minutes each that's all it's gonna need 
Oh. Charlie can Charlie can send in a voicemail on his thoughts. Stick it here. Thank you, Love Hellfires. Thanks. You're welcome. No, no, great Christmas. I'm Christmas. surprised we don't have that drop already. Future me, one hour, four minutes, and like fifty-seven seconds. Anyway, so yes, yeah, so send your thoughts on all everything this month and the stuff to come. Email us capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382. 2737 that 61438 capes and remember you can follow ultimate spider cast on facebook on twitter join our web of spider-man facebook fan group i mean you'll be there in good company like two points i think it was a 2.6 thousand uh, of your friends now so just get me to 6900 come on come on uh, and if you love Spider-Man, you know, go check out that Ben Rally Beyond uh, Facebook fan group. Man, we could use some uh, members over there. So, yes, yeah, so if, uh, find links to all of those. So, well, links to the YouTube channel. Go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like, once again, videos for every episode we do, and we do a lot of them. Uh, free content. And most importantly, if you can contribute, please contribute. Because once again... We have no more Beyond Corporation behind us. We're on our own, paying for this out of our own pockets. We're trying to get uh, Peter Parker Enterprises up and running, man. Capes Enterprises. Anyway, so yes, so please, if you can, be like Ray, be like Justin. Please subscribe to the Patreon. Uh, again, you get so much content, our creator interviews. Kelly Thompson's up there now talking about the new Spider-Man stuff. Got some GM, D, uh, JMD Mateus. We got yes. our weekly Chichester chats. Lots of great value over there, for sure. Yeah, if you're listening to this on the podcast, yeah, the JMD Mateus will be up. Uh, the November Chichester will be up. Talking about Daredevil. So. And superhero movie brackets coming in 2022. Looking for the worst superhero movie. Oh my God! I told Will and Matt they're like, man, yeah, that's gonna be a that's gonna be a slog. I'm like, huh? I mean, not really. Well, you know, doing twelve. I mean, it's gonna be entertaining when you and Charlie go head to head with Superman three and four. Uh, so yes, kids. So find links to the Patreon and please subscribe or get yourself some merch, cups, T-shirts, phone cases, and more coming soon. Uh, so find links to all of it all in one place. That's Linktree, L-I-N-K-T-R dot E-E slash Capes and Lunatics. <sighs> all right, little Hellfire. Where can people find you uh, messing around with dinosaurs? Oh, if you nerds want to uh, be like Ross Geller and nerd out about dinosaurs with me, uh, you can find me on Twitter at Lilith Hellfire, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69. And of course, on Instagram at Lilith Hellfire 69. Duh. Suck it, Russell. Present. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Uh, Good and wet. Cold, hard, wet nipples. <laughs> okay, since you insist. Cold, wet, hard nipples. Oh, uh, what a waste of butter. Oh, I should put a survey out. Be like, what line, what iconic line do you think uh, you think of when you hear the name Love Hellfire? Like Russell Ray. Be like, what line do you when you hear the name Love Hellfire? What do you think? What's the first one that comes to mind? Ray is probably <laughs> gobble gobble. Oh, uh, not in the face. It's in his prison purse. Ah, uh, all right, kids. So yes. <laughs> Again, come back. Will Hellfire will join us in two weeks for the movie review. That's right. The King of Sausage, Ray, will be back in one week. Get an early Scarlet Spider for in December. Talk about Joker Nuggets. Hey the, two of, the two of you together. Jeez. Kangaroo Nuggets. But until then, swing on back. Thwip, thwip, thwip. And a ho, ho, ho to you and your mama.